WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight, how doctors at uh, not only at MedStar Health worked to treat her hip, but they also treated Nancy Ball's cancer and got her a new hip as well. Watch this story. Now this is something I couldn't do Sunday before the, before the operation. Just a few days post-surgery, an 83-year-old Nancy Ball is getting around pretty well with her new hip. Now try this because this is a door threshold, so this will be good. Right. But the road to a hip replacement was longer than Nancy expected after hitting a serious roadblock a month before the surgery. Right, small steps. And when I had my um, pre-op in February, the discovery was made that I had um, excessive white blood count, 18,000, which is a little scary. We diagnosed her with two hematologic malignancies, uh, one chronic lymphocytic leukemia and one essential thrombocytemia. These hematologic malignancies are also considered to be blood diseases or cancer. Dr. Massimo Hebtash, the medical director of the MedStar Franklin Square Cancer Center at Good Samaritan, is the one who treated Nancy. They were both um, highly manageable. Uh, one of them, CLL, did not need any treatment. Uh, we treated her thrombocytemia, we lowered the platelet count. So this way her risk of uh, thrombosis, meaning blood clots, and uh, bleeding uh, during surgery and after surgery was minimized. Nancy wasn't highly symptomatic at the time of her diagnosis, but Dr. Mohebtash says there are signs to watch for that something might be wrong. Like without a diet or exercise, if people start losing weight, uh, fever and chills without any obvious infection, um, and, you know, feeling very tired without a clear reason. Uh, one of them, essential thrombocytemia, can cause heart attack, stroke, um, bleeding, or uh, blood clots in the legs or lungs. These malignancies are very treatable, but not curable. Nancy says she's grateful to MedStar Health for their efficiency in diagnosing and treating her problem. And if it weren't for Dr. Mahabatash, I would not be sitting here today. She saved my life. <laughs> and she won't be wasting a single moment of her life, especially with her new hip. Next week, I'll be able to dance the flamingo. We need them to come every day. In Baltimore, Megan Knight. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you do new stuff. WMAR 2 News.